All right, what's going on guys? Today I'm opening up my first ever uh, Elite Trainer box. We're opening up the Elite Trainer box from the new Cosmic Eclipse set. Uh, this just dropped, I think this past week actually. I got mine in the mail today, thankfully it's on Saturday the 2nd. Um, yeah, never actually unboxed one of these things. I've seen videos about them online and stuff, so I'm a fairly recent collector of the um, TCG. I had a lot of old stuff from like Base Set, Fossil, um, like Team Rocket and stuff like that. Um, don't have that stuff anymore, but I am excited to get back into it. Uh, a lot of the full art stuff and just the general artwork of the cards nowadays look really cool and are fully much enticing and like the main factor and driving force in me coming back into at least collecting the cards for right now just to see if I actually keep on a, a stick with it for um, just collector purposes and stuff. I, I love collecting different kinds of card games and other games and stuff like that. So I have Cosmic Eclipse right here and then I have a Elite Trainer box of Hidden Fates coming on I believe it's Monday of this week as well so hopefully a second video. Um, first little attempt with my tripod I have here so we're going to be fixing around with positioning, lighting and stuff like that too. So stuff should improve or just be different over time. But yeah overall we get eight packs, some sleeves, a cool box to store everything in for storage. Um, our energy pack, some counters, dice, and I think the booklet of the actual artwork of the cards, stuff like that, with like the collector's set. Um, cool little checklist for you. This is actually really good for me because I have a couple cards I still want to put in some storage. I have no binders or anything left or yet to store stuff with, but yeah, let's hopefully let's crack them this big boy. See if we get anything cool. I know mainly I'm looking for uh, a lot of the classic stuff, like the Pikachu in red. I think Misty has her own thing in here too. Um, a lot of the cool team ups like Blastoise Piplup, Venusaur, and Snivy. Stuff like that. I actually opened up a couple stuff, uh, a couple packs, and one of the uh, pre release kits on TCGO. I ended up pulling uh, two of the Venusaur Snivy um, tag teams, which is pretty cool. Uh, would not mind pulling two more or one more IRL. So a lot of cool um, slipcover art inside. I do want that team up as well. The little baby mom, Igglybuff, Cleffa, and Togepi. That's really cool. Uh, there's that Blastoise and Pip up in there. Cool art book right here. Uh, so let's see. It's just like an overview of like, the, the core set, I guess. Uh, rundown of the cards and stuff. So a lot of cool things. I know somewhere the artwork. Yeah, there you go. The new artwork right here. Look how cute these little guys are. So adorable. But we did pull two of those like, along, like I said. There's that cool Vile Plume full art, it looks like, as well. That'd be kind of cool to pull. That's uh, Charizard Braxian, I think. Um, Volcarona. Who else is cool here? That Blast has Pip Up team up, like I said before. That's the Kyogre from the new starter decks, actually, the theme deck, I suppose. Hmm. Not seeing too much. Ooh, a lot of cool stuff over here. Some more alternate artworks of the um, Snivy Venusaur on this side. Uh, Vile Plume, Charizard Braxian again. More artwork from Piplup and Blastoise. It's really cool. I like how there's multiple artworks of the same card, though. So there's multiple options to get. Um, who else we have here? And right there with what? Reshiram and Reshiram. Was that Grom? Reshiram, I think. Eh, maybe? Eh. Um, let's see here. Cynthia and Caitlyn. Hmm. A lot of, like, the trainers are just dope looking, too. Or well, even basics, like the basic coughing. Um, Red and Pikachu, of course, right there. Surge and Magnemite. That's, that's, that's cool artwork. I'm not going to lie. So, oh, and Oak right there. A lot of Gen 1 stuff, like Oak, Red and Blue. Um, looks awesome. Well, closest for right now. Definitely looking forward to pulling some hopefully good stuff. Let's get into this a little bit. We have... GX marker, pretty sturdy actually, it's plastic kind of, and then our plastic poison, and I don't want to say burn, I think, uh, let's see here, dice, oh, these are actually really small, I never realized, I always saw them on like sites like Mercury, and like other like buying and selling sites, like just people that sell the innards of the Elite Trainer boxes, um, didn't realize they were that small actually, <laughs> um, I guess because they're damage counters, you want to have multiple of them on Pokemon at a time, so it makes sense that they're that small, and a cool little green and gray dice right there, I guess, for the RCS on the front and the color scheme of the box. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs of Cosmic Eclipse. I think all the artworks. We have Blastoise Piplup, uh, the Trio, Sagaleo, Lunala, Baby Boys, more Pip. Oh, so I guess we got two of these artworks. Pretty cool. These are right there. And some sleeves. You got some cool sleeves. I know I've heard these aren't the best to actually play with. Um, for my purposes, I don't have any standard size sleeves. I only have this Yu-Gi-Oh! smaller size mini sleeves, I guess they're called. Um, but this is cool if I get any cool pulls. I have something to put them in, at least. And then we get our trainer box, or trainer pack. Trainer pack, yikes. <laughs> our energy pack right here. Uh, and then some cool dividers right here. 
to boom to store and divide up like your sections for commons, uncommons, I guess any hollows and full arts, stuff like that. And then we have our code card in here, right? Let me get this. Uh, I'm gonna keep this one, unfortunately, for myself, but that you do got a code card, so there you go. And then finally, your empty box to store your cards and your accessories and stuff in. So we'll throw the dividers back in there for right now. We'll throw our energy in there as well. I don't think no one wants to see uh, energy at all. Dice and stuff, our counter. So that's cool. We have a nice little bundle to sort of begin playing the game with. I do, uh, or I have been looking into maybe going to like a, uh, going to like a league possibly to start playing unless meeting people and like enjoying the, the game. Like it's fun. I'm liking it a lot. The game is very simple, but also complex and as complex as you want it to be. So kind of want to divide them out. Uh, actually no, fuck that. Let's just do how they are now. I'll pop the scissors open just so in case we get anything. We have them at the ready. So I want to turn the fire up. And they do feel like plasticky, kind of like I'm more of like a matte finish kind of person. Like Ultra Pros, I've always been a fond of uh, with Yu Gi Oh! at least. These definitely do feel like if you start shuffling, they'll stick and like the sides will crease and like crack probably easily. Um, not to put them down, they're probably cool for when I have them for storage just to like put them in there, put them in a binder if they're going to be called, like, collection purposes. That'd be cool. But for right now, boom, on the side, let's get to cracking some packs. Trio, let's get some first pack magic, hopefully. Let's see what we get here. Alrighty, got the bin next to me. We got trainer car, oh, trainer car, yikes, one. Hmm, it's one, two, three, I think it's four at the front, yeah. I think I've seen enough of these things. Uh, code card, I'm sorry. Scratch energy, yikes. So we got our Lar uh, Larvesta, we have our Anorith, Gen 3 hype. Um, Gloom, you're cool, oddish to go with the Gloom. We got Ralts, we got Sandy Ghast. I'm not gonna lie, from like Gen 5 and up, I feel like Pokemon like started to get a little amp for me. It's like the like the visuals and like the names too, kind of. I was not the fan. Like I love Gen 4, like probably like one of my hypest uh, gens to play. I did start in Gen 1, obviously. It's uh, red and blue. Um, 90s baby right here. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. A lot of the, like, the newer stuff doesn't really do a lot for me, but there are exceptions here and there. Um, so pronunciation for some names I might not get off the top, so I do apologize in advance. Sveal, adorable. Uh, Cottony, we got something in the first pack. Uh-oh. Come on, double cottony. Reverse cottony, regular cottony, and ooh, we got that Reshiram Zekrom GX. And look at that and on the shoulder right there. It's kind of cool, actually. It's pretty cool. First pack, knock it a front. Cool. We got a nice, awesome artwork. Nice tag team card. We'll sleeve this bad boy right here. Look at that. See, perfect. You make some good pulls. You got sleeves just to put them in. So let's get this guy off to the side. Um, next up, pack number two. And actually, at the time of the recording, we're about a week and a half to almost exactly two weeks from what's this on the moon <laughs> sword and shield uh i definitely can't wait i'm gonna be starting out with uh sword definitely gonna be buying that one code card one two three uh, four um a lot of leaks have been coming out these past couple days as well it's now in like the last couple dry energy is kind of cool some fossils it's like the last like um push for the game so people are starting to get early copies and like starting to get screenshots and like leaks are, are coming out at like by the dozen it looks like so we already got a bunch of like confirmed new pokemon like the evolutionary like uh, lines for the first starters um i did see the last forms and i think the second form of one of the, the starters i'm not mad about it they're actually they're not bad they're they're definitely different i'm not gonna i'll give it that um it's not gonna ruin it for me though i'm definitely not gonna look at like leaks on spoilers altogether i saw them that's not not a big deal i'm still gonna enjoy the game no matter what uh and i look forward to streaming it live on twitch.tv um and yeah hopefully maybe if you want to come check it out enjoy me let you know how you guys are doing what version you guys are getting you know it'll be fun time i think it's a great step in the right direction for pokemon jangma oh dearling go i love this guy so much a lot of the ghost types are fucking cool do pitter do i think like a spider like a water spider apom we got Lily's Polka Doll. Polka Doll's pretty cool. And we got a Beware. I think his ability is pretty cool, actually. Polka kind of is uh, Polka's under bench. Your active Pokemon retreat cost is two less, which is pretty cool. I know it's a trainer card, I think. If not in this set, I think it's one of the first Sword and Shield sets I saw. Um, this should be like a trainer that does that for you as well, like an attached item, I think. Nothing in that pack. Nothing great, we'll say. So we have more to go. Uh, six more. Let's get these babies up on deck. We'll see what we got. Another code card. Now, I heard that they're starting to do with, like, the green and the white code cards, like, meaning uh, good and bad pulls. I've seen people get good pulls with the green cards. So, that's uh, pretty cool. They're, like, trying to, like, uh, divvy away or give away with um, the whole, like, knowing when your packs are good or not, which is pretty cool. So, there's a little surprise element in there. 
fairy energy off the bat. We have Dartrix. I did start out actually with uh, Rowlet in my let's uh, my playthrough of Gen 7, which is pretty cool. I do like him out of all three of them. I can't, can't really front. Lily's full force. Awesome little Zemo she's doing there. Ends resolve. This will be a cool uh, full art if we can pull him. That'd be amazing. Crab Brawler. Crab Brawler, I think. Uh, Crab Roll her, yikes. Uh, Carvana, Chin Chow, awesome type. Uh, Azurel, I'm not gonna lie, I do love the crochet slash like, um, like clay, like mation forms of these Pokemon, like these artworks. I loved them on like the old classic cards as well. So I do love these crochet, like clay looking guys. Rufflet, we gotta reverse our snow run and a Swoobat. Kind of cool too, I'm not gonna lie. Artwork again, pretty cool. Even the reverses look cool too. It's like the art, like the actual identical stuff, like the water effect on there is awesome. So that's cool too. Definitely there's, you know, I'm, I'm excited. There's not gonna be a hollow. It's still pretty fun and still a good card to me. Bam. So let's see, we got a code card over here. One, two, three, four. Uh, energy, go away, dude. I want you. So we got fire energy right here. And we have the... Belba and Bryson Man? Hmm, what do you do? Discard three from the top of, your, of each player's deck. When you play this card, you may discard three other cards from your hand. If you do, each player discards their benched Pokemon until they have three benched Pokemon. Hmm, your opponent discards first. That's not bad, hey? Tag team uh, trainers, that's pretty cool. Uh, Roxy, I know she's part of the coughing base card, I'm pretty, or the basic card, I'm pretty sure. Special Oak Setup, again, another one we would love to have in a full art form. Onyx, Tepig, so adorable, sweet, look how cute he is. Um, Sandshrew, a little one's Sandshrew, actually, a little ice boy. Snow Runt, Coughing, a Reverse, Marshadow, and, ooh, a Victini, that's pretty cool. Hollow Victini, I like that little artwork he has as well, a little shininess boy. Uh, ability is Victory Heal. Once during your turn before you attack, you may heal 20 damage from one of your bench Pokemon. That's not bad, and Combustion, 2 for 30, hey. You know what? It's a hollow. Why not? We'll keep it on the side over here. Nice pull so far. Again, our only big, big boy pull is our uh, tag team right there. We still have, let's see, one, two, three, last four packs. Let's get some, some more luck here. I've seen people get some pretty good luck in these Elite Trainer boxes over the past couple days. Some people got some early, so it's pretty cool. Let's get this boy. Hopefully, we get at least one of the new uh, trainer cards at least. One, two, three, four. How many licks will it take? Let's see. Uh, psychic Energy. Then we have Alana's Fishing Rod. Cool. Chaotic Swell. Type Null right there. Another Rowlet. Or actually, this is the first Rowlet. I'm not going to lie. Phantom. Again, an awesome spooky Halloween-themed uh, Pokemon. Very dark, deep lore. It has two of the Pokedex entry. It's not going to... It's pretty, pretty sick. Uh, Alolan Grimer. Magnemite. Eevee. Ooh, a reverse Kyogre. This is, again, the Kyogre from the starter decks, I'm pretty sure. And then Glalie. Glee, womp womp. Oh god. So we got so fairy energy again. We have a Mal Malo, Malo and Lana, a Floet, Roxy again, a Rowlet, Piplup will be cute to have him on top of Blastoise, a little and Vulpix, Rock Ruff, Stuffle, Reverse Ralt, and a Whimsicott. Went went. Two last ones to go. Maybe well, these are our two big packs right here. Maybe we'll pull our cover packs right here. Let's see. Our cover stars. We'll go. Yeah, we'll go pick up and blast last first. Why not? Nothing to lose here at this point. Whoa. Now the code card. One, two, three, four to the front. What we got? We got a. Is that a miscut? Yeah, that's all oh, of That's a cool miscut, actually. Look at that. You can see. Oh, focus, please, God. That's the bottom of the other card. So that's like the cutoff point where it should be cut. That's actually pretty cool. We have a miscut. That's awesome. I'll look through it again, but that's actually really cool. Let me get an actual new energy really fast just to double check that I'm not going crazy here. Yeah, look at this. Look at that. So you can kind of see uh, the spacing on them. It's a little jacked. So you see the normal energy card should have that full uh, gray border. Obviously, this is a little offset right there. So the next card was coming from the top set. The little cut mark right there not an actual physical cut though i don't feel anything on there and like, not missing anything so that's kind of cool we got an error card it's pretty awesome you know i'm gonna sleeve that we'll, we'll, we'll give a sleeve to the error cut of the energy card so we'll, we'll make that the honorary uh second boy up there um that's pretty cool though we got an error card let's put this a little bit more down so we can see them a little bit better okay so her here Tangrowth, a Primplup, another Rowlet right there, a second Phantom, dope, Magnemite again, Lily Pup, Trap Pinch, Reverse, uh, Daratrix, and a Seismitoad. Poopy. 
going one, two, three, four. So kind of a went went box for us personally. We have a another miscut energy ash. That's pretty cool. You know, we got two error cards now, so maybe that's the brother to that one. Who knows? But two miscut energies is pretty cool. That's a fighting one. Celio, uh, by Sharp, a Tropius, Lit Leo, Flabebe, Adam Cole, Flabebe. Big old wrestling puns there. Sfulon's all on his little back. Can't roll over. Little chubby boy. Not too. Ballot Batode, a by sharp and way lord. <clears throat> Overall though, hey, we can't really complain all that much. We did get our one cool tag team right there. Reshiram and Zekrom. Let's actually go back away fast. Let's see if any more of these energies were miscut. So let me see that really fast. Three miscut energy cards, and then again our tag team, Zekrom and Reshiram. Um, Reshiram, I guess. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty fun. Uh, definitely kind of want to buy another box of this, or at least more packs of this. This is definitely a cool set to have and pull from. Maybe we'll record our online TCG card pulls, uh, see if we get anything cool from there. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Look out for the next um, pull pack. Oh my god. <laughs> the next unboxing of our, I think it's a Hidden Fates uh, Elite Hunter box. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Definitely look out for the next one, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.